What's up, Winject World? It's your buddy Adam, and this is our Thursday live spotlight within Winject Studios. It's always exciting to be here with you on Thursdays. Hopefully, your week is going well so far, and you're feeling quite podtastic. Uh, we'll be bringing on my friend Janet Fish here later on in the segment um, at, and have her do a little spotlight session with me. Uh, but first, uh, I thought that, man, I've got three podcasts. I, I'm a, a multi-podcast podcaster. I was going to talk about that a little bit today. Kind of toot my own horn, spotlight my own stuff for just a little bit uh, before we bring Janet on. Since we got some extra time, I thought might as well, right? Uh, so my three shows are Podcasting Business School. That's my main show. Uh, I've also got another podcast about podcasting called Let's Talk About Your Podcast. And I've got Low Carb Hustle, which is in the health space, but also that's more in the health entrepreneur space. And I want to talk about the purpose business-wise uh, behind each show and how I'm monetizing each show in a little bit of a different way, um, just so that you can kind of uh, get some insights from what I'm doing and maybe get a few ideas on how you can get things going yourself. Oris, I see you, brother. Thanks for tuning in live. Uh, we need to get you back on here in the spotlight again soon. So um, the the main show that I have is Podcasting Business School. That's that's the one that is my wheelhouse as far as where I really focus most on the content. Uh, it's, it's the most curated content that I've got. And it's also the show that monetizes the best. I, I have higher ticket offers that I can offer off of that show with like my VIP sessions, coaching, you know, things like that, courses, blah, blah, blah. And that's something that a lot of newer podcasters overlook. They just think sponsor, 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 affiliate, affiliate. Um, but if you've got, you know, solid coaching or if you have the ability to do like a VIP day, a VIP day is something I feel like any podcaster could offer uh, as something that they can monetize with. And basically a VIP day, the way I do it is I, I take a three hour segment, but I see people go from anywhere from three to eight hours as a one day VIP day. And they're bringing people in that are familiar with their brand, whether they're, they're podcast listeners or they, they're listeners that have kind of participated in some of their stuff, maybe bought some of their lower ticket stuff. And they're bringing them in for like a, a sprint session. A VIP day, the best way for me to describe the way that I do it is, all right, we're going to compress all of your, your pain points or one of your biggest pain points and knock it out in a three hour where we're going to develop a system, a, a protocol, we're going to put things together to where you are ready to rock. So a lot of podcasters use my VIP day for monetization. Like I, I have no idea how I'm going to monetize. I'm not really building engagement. I'm not building a community. So I'm like, all right, we're going to build you what I refer to as a community to client bridge. And in that three hour session, we build it out. We put the lead magnets together. All the web stuff is done. The email funnels are done. And then at the end, they've got a monetization that it leads to at the end. The entire process is set up. And then at the end, they have a link and they put that on their main website and we're good to go. So uh, that's the way that I view it. Uh, like in the health space or the self-help therapy counseling space, if you have any sort of a process that you teach people, that's your VIP day. And normally maybe you have a three-week coaching or a four-week coaching or 12-week coaching. You can press all of that or part of it into a three-hour sprint segment where you're just digging in. And we all know that, especially if you do coaching, it is, you know, if you do like a 12-week coaching, you're meeting up once a week with a group or one-on-one -on -one or whatever, you, you, you build a little bit of momentum and then you kind of wait till the next week. And in three hours in a row of consecutive time, you can get a lot more done. It's much more efficient because it's not start, stop, start, stop. So that's uh, how I'm monetizing podcasting business school. That's kind of the game plan there. Uh, with low carb hustle, it's almost the complete opposite. That's actually a bigger audience. I get a lot more downloads on that show. And we have a bigger brand overall because I have two co-hosts that have large, a large presence in the health space. Uh, shout out to Danny Vega and Robert Sykes. They've got big podcasts of their own in the health space, in the keto and low carb space. And we kind of came together to form this super team and we're making almost a 100% sponsorship play monetization wise. And we had sponsors 
ready to go before we launched any episodes, just because we said, hey, we've got a combined 80,000 Instagram followers. Robert's show's done 2 million downloads. Danny's done you know half a million. Mine did about half a million going in to this, uh, to this new project. So we got a lot of pull and we said, we'd love to sponsor, uh, partner with you as a brand sponsor. We started kind of lower thousand dollar per month offers and we had people jump on board right from the jump. That's a thousand dollars plus affiliate links and affiliate sales and things like that. So kind of packaging all of our stuff together, uh, brand wise. And, you know, we had an email list already kind of combined from our, our three different brands. And we said, hey, all this comes with it. We're going to do some customized Instagram and the monetization happens uh, from a sponsorship perspective. Now, we are probably going to start doing some workshops for entrepreneurs in the low-carb space because that just makes a heck of a lot of sense because we're already teaching and we're bringing a lot of that knowledge to our show already. So I think that'll be an easy way to monetize. One of the the things that I see a lot of podcasters doing is they're like, they're trying to monetize in weird ways or, or just ways that are really tough. Like if your audience is primed and in need of one-on-one -on -one coaching, give them a one-on-one -on -one coaching offer. Don't create some giant course that they don't want to go through. Like listen to your audience, get a hold of them, talk about their pain points with them, and then ask them. Like if you're in kind of that creation zone of, I think I'm going to create a course get in front of your people, like maybe do a round table discussion. That's an episode of your show or, or not an episode. That's cool too. But talk to your people and ask them like, Hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Do you think this would serve you? First off, no, don't even mention the price. Just like, will this serve you or not? And if they're like, no, then don't do it. Like, I've, I've done that with my first health show, million pound mission. I've got this graveyard of like 75 courses that, that I created that are just sitting there because I created them because I thought they, they were cool. So anything that I create now, whether it's with one of my shows or whether like we got a lot of stuff cooking with Winjack Studios, we, we got to talk to you guys. Like, will this serve you? Because if it doesn't, we ain't doing it. it. That's just a big waste of time. If I think it's cool and you don't see the point, it ain't going to fly. So that's with, with Low Carb Hustle. Again, we uh, the other unique thing that we do there is I've got two co-hosts. We all kind of agreed like, all right. We need this to be very efficient. We all have other shows. This is my third show. And I'm like, and they bring a bigger brand presence than I do. Like I've got a good size brand, but they have giant brands, big brands. So I was like, hey, I'll take care of everything. You guys show up. We'll batch record one day per month. That's all I'm asking. And then just share out social media stuff. So think, you know, as you guys are out there interviewing people that you think, man, I really vibe with that person. They've got a big brand. I'm kind of starting out. Is that a partnership down the line that we could link up and do a new show together? And then what do I bring to the table? So for my partnership in low carb hustle, I bring a ton of business experience, you know, 20 years in the fitness industry now. And like, I will put in the work. So I was like, yo, you show up. So tonight's our night from 5 PM to 8 PM. We record all of our episodes for the next month and I'll take that. I'll edit it, load it up, do all the, that stuff. I break all the video content down for each episode. Usually we have like five to seven video clips that we put up. We share out, um, you know, I set up our merchandise store. I take care of all the, the money, the sponsorship meetings, all that stuff. It's like Danny Robert, just show up, crush it, share it on your social when it makes sense. And that's worked re really, really well because they're bringing a lot to the table as far as the audience. And I'm kind of the boots on the ground guy and the business guy. So think about that partnership wise. Uh, there's a lot of potential as you network, you're having people on your show, you're on other people's shows. If you really hit it off with somebody, think about it. Like maybe that's, that's a separate show and you can each bring a little bit of something to the table. Now let's talk about the show. Let's talk about your podcast. So this is my newest show and I'm very experimental with it. Um, so the more podcasters I can get in front of and then I can connect with the better. That's better for my content. That's better for my business. And I just like talking to other podcasters. Good things happen for me with my business and with my, my growth of my shows, the more podcasters that I talk to. So with podcasting business school, I have a style of interview that, that my listeners can sign up for called a podcast audit and they can come on the show, be a guest. And we audit their podcast. We talk about the holes in the game that we want to fill. 
from a business sales or uh, download growth perspective. So that is a little bit more niche. I wanted to have a show where I could have any podcaster coming on and talking about just their podcasting journey, broad brush in general. And I wanted the name because I'm big on naming. I wanted it to be very obvious and very specific. So when people are scrolling through Apple podcasts and they see the, the big title, the big chunky words right there, let's talk about your podcast, then they kind of know what that's about. <laughs> so uh, it's very obvious. And I'm very big on very obvious, like podcasting business school, low carb hustle, get lean, get strong, get paid. Like it's obvious what we're talking about. All right. So those are the, uh, the set, the, the three different brands, but so like with, let's talk about your podcast. I will, um, like I can reach out to any podcaster and be like, Hey, I'd love to have you on the show. Anybody that I want to be connected to in the podcasting space, I can invite them on that show. And that's a major strategy for me as far as making friends. That's how I network. That's how I get through the gatekeeper of these people that I'd really love to pick their brain and talk to and try to get some insight from. All right. So it's not always just about like interview the people that'd be great clients for you. Yeah. I'm all about that too. hundred percent. But let's talk about your podcast as my way through the gatekeeper to get to any body that has a podcast. And I don't set myself to like a specific release uh, date or things like that. I've been basically, I've been recording nine interviews and then I release them as a season. So it's very low key, low pressure, but I'm getting great reviews off of it. I'm getting downloads, great exposure for the podcasters that are coming on. Uh, so it's working really well. It's serving a purpose. That's very important. So each show serves a purpose. There's a method behind the madness to each of the lanes that I operate in. Uh, I did just officially hire my first ever virtual assistant. Uh, so, uh, you know, for the first five years and over 600 episodes, I've done this 100% by myself from an editing, recording, social media, everything standpoint, email, newsletter, replying to email, everything uh, for the first five years. So it can be done. It can be done. All right. Uh, before we bring Janet on, I want to talk about something else that we're really, really fired up about here in Winject world. And that is uh, the mad scientist, Chris Ross, has been in the lab. He strikes again. We are signed up for an app called Community. And we think that this is going to be an absolute breakthrough in the way that we can teach and communicate with you. And then maybe you see it and you're like, yo, I, I think this might be good for, for something that I want to start using as a podcaster. So uh, the way it's going to work, is we'll have a, a phone number and for you to text and uh, we'll pop that on the, the the little scroll the scroll index below here uh, there it is so you can text 843-396-2104 843-396-2401 that is our community number i want you to text winject studios uh just put that in the text send that over and uh, that way we know you're from the Winject Studios listener base. Uh, but that's 843-396-2104 for those of you that are listening in on uh, the podcast. So just try it out and just see what happens. All right. You're going to get a confirmation text and then kind of a welcome message. And we can communicate with you directly uh, on your phone. Like now. I talked to a couple of people about this yesterday and they know our boy Chris Ross. Like, yo. Is Chris going to text me like 12 times a day because that potential is there? We all know that Chris loves to talk. No, he's not going to do that. He promised me. He promised me. Uh, so, but if we have something important that you need to know that you can take advantage of to blow up your brand, to grow your show, to monetize, to get more downloads, some collaboration opportunities, we're going to text you and go, hey, here it is. Here's the thing you need to get plugged into. Uh, make sure you hop on this right away. We're not just going to send you know, random stuff. Uh, there will be the, the occasional inspirational thing, but it's really going to be like getting down to business. We're going to communicate with you. And even better, you can communicate directly with us. If you're struggling with something, text us. If you are hitting, driving the struggle bus with, you know, a, a certain podcasting issue, text us. Like that's the bigger win here uh, that a lot of people <laughs> that I previewed yesterday, they, they just had the fear of getting text bombed all day long. No, no, no. You able to text us is the huge win. That's the huge value add where you're like, I'm really struggling, struggling to monetize. I'm thinking about this, this, and this. Uh, what do you think? 
that's popping through and we can text you back and answer right there. Or maybe we pull that into a Money Monday segment and we just cover it. Or maybe we bring you on to talk with me and Chris on a Money Monday and we get the job done. So it's more about you having a, a direct line to communicate with us. We'll have multiple people, myself and Chris included on that, making sure that your stuff gets answered. So I know a lot of you are not huge into um, Slack or not into Facebook groups. We've got you know both of those out there and you know they are there, but this is very simple. It's very streamlined. It's very in the moment. And it's going to be super easy to connect. Uh, we are very excited about this. We just got signed up, so there'll be some experimentation. But we would love for you to text 843-396-2104. I wish that spelled something. Maybe I'll figure out what that spells. And I hope that it's something funny that's very memorable. Um, I'll come up with something. All right. So I'm on the job. I'll, I'll spend all day if I have to figuring out what that spells so we can have like a little custom thing. So... This is going to be huge. And again, we're kind of in the, the community beta. Chris, of course, has connections. I think he dropped, I think he told me he dropped Tony Robbins' name, and that got us in with the community beta. Uh, so we are in once again with the connections via Chris Ross. And we've got this, and I feel like we'll be able to get other people in the door if uh, you guys are interested in setting this up for your community as well. So let us kind of be the test dummies quote unquote and we will uh see if this is something that you want to implement as well so again uh, experiment with it uh drop a text just text winjack studios to 843-396-2104 and see what happens and we're going to play with that we would love your feedback so even if like you're like dude i'm getting too many texts send us a text that says that let us know this is direct line communication or if you're like i wish you would send out a tip of the day or uh, we would love it whenever there's a new Winject Radio episode that, that releases. W would you text us or remind us? Because we can segment the list so that we're not blasting everything to everybody. We can be like, oh, people that are, that want the, the podcast info. Oh, people that want a business tip of the day. Oh, people that want a podcasting tip of the day. Then uh, that's the way that we, we can segment the list and we can make sure that you're taken care of. So, we are very fired up. Uh, we've got a guest. All right. Uh, Janet Fish is coming on. Let, let's go ahead and bring Janet on and talk about her podcast. Hello, Janet. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. How are you? Fired up. Fired up and ready. I've been talking for 20 minutes, so I've got my momentum going. All right. I got my new hu my hustle hoodie. Can you see my hustle hoodie? Hey, where do I get one of those? Lowcarbhustlepodcast.com. I knew you'd tell me that. <laughs> we've got tank tops. We're working on some Speedos, I think. I don't know. We've got all kinds of stuff. I'll pass on the Speedo. <laughs> so many requests <laughs> for the Speedo. Um, all right, Janet, let's talk about your show, the, the Breakaway Entrepreneur Podcast. So uh, tell me about who, what's it about and who should be listening. All right. So uh, the people that should be listening first are entrepreneurs. All right. It's all about entrepreneurs. So I've been coaching for 15 years and I focus with my clients on how to make more money. And so I didn't want to do another podcast on how to make more money uh, because to me, so much of what makes you a successful uh, entrepreneur is the mindset. So we focus on uh, the mindset, we focus on challenges, how you overcome your challenges. And those are the kind of conversations that we had. What's your journey? And then how'd you overcome the challenges to get even better on your journey? Well, I love how much experience you bring to the table and you allow your audience to, to learn through like fresh eyes. Like I know that you know so much of the stuff that your people are teaching, but it's like, you bring it down to that level that even the beginning entrepreneur can understand what the heck is being talked about. And I think that's really important um, because I see a lot of, of entrepreneurs out there that have a lot of experience, but they they teach at this this super high level, which you can totally do and you you do, but they don't bring it down to like the baby steps. Here's how we implement. So I think that's an awesome aspect of your show that I wanted to point out. Well, and that's my, those are my peeps, right? I mean, I've been doing this a long time and I only take the clients that I want to take in my, where I am in my career, my coaching career um, is I'm here to serve those people 
who aren't making a gazillion dollars, right? My peeps are the people like I'm stuck where I am at $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month or $30,000 a month. Those are my people. Like I've coached multimillionaires. I don't want to do that. That's about babysitting. Like I want to, it is because they're, they're systems and they're people. And that's, that's not interesting to me. What's interesting to me is the people that are solopreneurs or have a couple of people and they're just at that spot where they are, wherever it is. And they want to get to that next spot. And that is what drives me. That's like, I'm getting goosebumps right now, just talking about it because that's, it's overcoming those challenges that are most likely in your head yeah. to get to that next level for you, which doesn't mean necessarily gazillions of dollars, but it's that next step. Yeah. Now explain the name. What does it mean to be a breakaway entrepreneur? Okay. So all, my whole brand is breakaway, right? Um, I used to be a, a hundred mile and a mile bike rider. I still bike ride, but I don't do quite as many things as that because living in Tahoe half the time, you can't even get on a bike. So to me, a, a breakaway in cycling is to break away from the pack. Like that is the concept. And so that's been my brand forever. And so to me, it's just how do you as an entrepreneur break away from all the other entrepreneurs? How do people who teach podcasting, coaching and how to make a business out of podcasting, how do you differentiate yourself from the gazillion other people who might be doing that? And so to me, that's what the breakaway entrepreneur is. It's the person who takes your unique gifts and what you bring to the world and break away and differentiate yourself from the other people who do what you do. Now, have you seen the cycling movie Breaking Away? Of course. <laughs> Do you know where that was filmed? Do you know what that's about? I Indiana, don't know. I was just going to say. University, Bloomington, Indiana. My grandmother's house is in like on the street where the kid grows up in the movie. Like, oh, that's so funny. Yeah, the whole thing. So fun fact. Fun um, fact about go, Adam. The little 500. Go Hoosiers. Um, so with the people that are listening to your show, like – you're a big community builder. Like I'm your connector. Like I'm your, your coach. Like I am like, what are some of your strategies to get in front of those people to talk to them? So it's not just you, you know, you know, you're in their earbuds every week. How do we get those connections going? What, what are some of your strategies around that? Yeah. So, so I've been doing this just a little over a year. I started a year ago, January. So a year and a couple of months. And I started out with just bringing on people that I thought were interesting to entrepreneurs who had interesting stories or who, had components that entrepreneurs need talking about, you know, video and talk about podcasting. And so that was my, that's been an evolution as any podcast is. Um, one of the cool things that I'm absolutely loving that I'm doing now is I'm bringing on entrepreneurs and we're doing live coaching as a, as an episode of uh, the podcast. And that's just, that's just so cool because one, it allows me to serve, uh, but two, it's people like the last person that I, I did. She's like, I'm going to sound stupid. I'm like, no, you're not going to sound stupid. You're going to sound like everybody out there who's suffering from the same thing that you're talking about. So to me, that's really connecting with the audience because I'm bringing on the audience, right? Yeah. The audience is coming on the show. Um, and that's just been super fun. I just started doing that and I can't wait to do more of it. Yeah, I saw that you did that. I'm like, I mean, you know, I'm a huge fan of that model of like bringing your audience onto your show they're representing your ideal listener avatar. So like every super fan that's out there listening to your show, they're going, Oh, I have that, qu that, that question, or I have that problem yeah. that I've been, I've been dealing with. I'm so glad she asked that question. And then the more often you do these episodes, the more people will jump on, on board signing up for them because they see that it's a safe space. At first yeah. you have to kind of like grab some people and like, let's just put it out. Just trust me. And, but then, like with my podcast audits, they're just full all the time. Like it yeah. just happens and happens and happens because people know, yeah, you know, like it's a safe space. He's not on there like hot seat with the bright light or anything like that. Right. It's, uh, well, it's it, a big it, value add. And, and we edit it. Like there were some things that she talked about that I thought she probably doesn't want, you know, personal things about her, her husband. And, and I'm like, that doesn't need to go out there. That's not, that's not necessarily helpful for the listener. So, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you use your discretion and you take out and that's right. you got to trust me to take out the things that you don't want and leave in the things that are going to resonate with everybody out there who have the same kind of challenges that you do. I can't help thinking like, oh, this woman went on there and said she's like going to dump her husband or something. No, then, it was nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> he doesn't know yet. So um, now, I'm not, I was, 
I was going to say something really inappropriate. So thank you for stopping me. <laughs> All right. So uh, you've got a uh, an online, a free online summit coming up. That I think a lot of people listening in may want to check out. Uh, I know this, this is going to go out as an episode of Winject Radio. So let's not miss the opportunity. Like one of the big things that we want to do at Winject is help promote our shows and promote our brands and promote things that you are out there doing. Uh, so tell us about the online summit that's happening for free next week. And I am presenting. Yes, you are. I'm super excited. Okay. So virtual sun is called breakthrough your profit ceiling. Uh, the three magical keys uh, to success and they are marketing, email marketing, and sales. Like I have a 10 step process that I coach, but those are the three that are the, the, the main thing that people need to do in their business. So I've got 10 speakers coming to talk about different components of each of those magical keys. Um, and it's going to be, a, it's going to be a discussion and then Q and a. So the people who actually come and show up live at the show or the summit can ask questions of the experts that are going to be there. So I'm super excited. It's the first one I've ever done. I mean, uh, virtual summits are, you know, the, the thing, these days. Yep. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm super excited. I've got amazing guests like you coming on the show. Um, and it's going to be a fabulous day. It's March 24th from eight to three Pacific time. Um, so if you're listening, come and just hang out with us. It'll be fantastic. Yeah. Where do they go? Give us the website. It is a breakthrough your profit ceiling.com. Breakthrough your profit ceiling.com. That's ceiling spelled C E I. E before I, no, I don't know what. It is. So <laughs> it's through T R O U G H, not T R O U, T R T H R U. But yeah. 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 You know, spell it all out. Uh, but Janet does great stuff. There's a really good lineup. I'm going to be talking about Instagram uh, a little bit and how you can use it to build your email list. So uh, all sorts of goodies that'll be popping out with that. Uh, Janet, you got a lot cooking. All right. So we're really, really excited. Oh, we got the website. If you guys are watching live uh, right there on the, the bottom scrolling through, that is the link. Yeah. Our girl Carlum is on it, man. Oh like, my, you guys are. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, it's not the guys, it's Carlum. Like she's like the wizard Carla. of Oz. Like you pull back the curtain and she is the wizard of Oz pulling all the levers and making the magic happen. So uh, awesome. shout out to our friend Carlum. Um, so you got a lot cooking. Uh, what is next? Like, what's the next big goal for your show? I'm focusing on bringing, bringing the, bringing the entrepreneur to the show. Like that's my biggest exciting thing. And like you said, I've just done one of them. I've got another one in the can that hasn't gone yet. Um, but that's really what I want to focus because it's, like I said, it's bringing my audience on my show, which like is incredible. And, um, so that's the next big thing. Uh, as you know, with podcasts, like we focus on that until our audience says, Hey, I want you to focus on something else. And then we, we, we follow their lead, but that's my next kind of continuing thing is to bring my audience on my show. I love that focus. And I would, I would just dig in and put in reps there week after week after week, do it for a year, do it for six months, like put in time on that. And so many good things will happen, Janet. Like it's just so like business will go up, downloads will go up your audience engagement will go up. Uh, it is, uh, it's, it's the way to be. So, um, all right. So if you guys need to get a hold of Janet, uh, she hangs out on Instagram. I, I know that she's doing some reels on there. I've been coaching her on how to do Instagram reels and I love the effort that you're putting in there. What's, what's your handle on Instagram real quick? It is breakaway business coaching. Boom. There it is. Go check her out. Uh, all right, Janet, we appreciate you. And we are very excited about your summit next week. Uh, to everybody tuning in, uh, again, make sure that you text us on our community line. I've said the number several times. Uh, we are very excited about that app and being able to connect with you directly. And you can connect with us directly as well. You can send Chris Ross text messages all day long, all day long. And that dude will love it. Like he just sits there and he'll just be waiting. He'll be ready to, ready to answer all your podcasting questions. So um, check us out on that community number and uh, we'll be back next week i'll sign off as always wishing you health happiness and many downloads carlum let's drop the mic this podcast is part of the winject studios network where podcasters come together to focus on community collaboration and collective impact for more information on how to apply to join the network go to www.winject.com that's w-i-n-j-e-c-t dot com if you're ready to make a difference through podcasting, then we're ready to see you there.